okay. She's done. It's time to film. How you going everyone? Corey Baker here. The day is here. I'm finally filming my collection video. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'm now happy that I've got the amount of stuff in the cabinet. So there's no little, there's no uh, spare gaps or anything. We've got a whole, we've got about three cabinets to go through of all just cool collectibles, uh, prehistoric collectibles, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and now I'm just really excited to show you guys. So before we get going, I just want to give you a little bit of a, a history lesson about how I got to this point in time. So in 2006, I got my very, probably, I've, I've kind of fought back in my life and the very first dinosaur kind of collectible that kind of started the whole thing is this guy here, which is the Papo Green Rex. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this guy uh, before. This is the first one I've ever got, basically. Uh, we got this in 2006, so a long time ago. I was, oh, hell, I was in year nine in school in, in Australia, and um, I must have been about 14, 13, or something like that. And I got this guy, and this is pretty much what introduced me to these collectibles, because look how, you know, it's such a detailed figure. Um, and it pretty much opened my eyes to what you could kind of collect. So at the time, there's, the Papo line only had about maybe eight dinosaurs, you know, Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, um, little Pachycephalosaurus. Um, and I remember it was 2009 and 2010, the Spinosaurus came out. So the next one I got after this one was the Spinosaurus the next year after. And by that time, eventually I got out of school and I got a job and I got money. So I started collecting the Papos. And yeah, the rest is history. So the first one I ever got for the collection was the Papo Green Rex, as we all know and love. Then around 2014, I started to get, you know, all the Papos. I had all the Papos at that point and I started to collect a little bit more. So I decided to get the display cabinet that you guys saw on YouTube in 2014. Um, a lot of you guys have spoken out. Um, I've actually inspired a couple of you guys, you've come and told me to collect uh, dinosaur stuff and um, you know get your own display cabinets of prehistoric animals and all sorts of collections up in a display cabinet kind of thing so I got that and then so I've got a huge big space for all this collectible and I remember having a big space down the bottom now the big space at the bottom was kind of just needing to be filled and at that point in time in 2014 I got my very first high-end collectible um, from the internet, which was the Sideshow Collectibles Tyrannosaurus. He hasn't been out of the uh, display cabinet for a long time, but here he is. Doesn't have his display gap base of him. And you know, this guy is just a beast. He just looks so awesome. Um, this is my very first high-end collectible. So, you know, it cost a bit of money. Um, and then, but by this time where I got this guy, I'm, I was like, pretty much got the uh, collecting bugs, the collecting bug with dinosaur stuff and um, prehistoric animals and stuff like that and, and, and basically models. So I got this guy and he's just so awesome. Give him a look on the other side as well. He doesn't really come out of the, uh, don't really take him out of the display case very often. But you know, such a cool um, collectible. So awesome. Um, but yeah, I got this guy and he just looks so good in display cabinet. Uh, at that point of time, I only had one display cabinet. Now fast forward quite a few years later, in, two oh, in 2019, I moved out of home. I was living with my parents, and I only had like you know my one bedroom and one display cabinet. Uh, once I moved out, I actually bought two more display cabinets, and I just feel, as you probably know, I have sh shared quite a bit of stuff with you guys already. I just filled those guys, that those two cabinets with a whole lot of other stuff so I got more high-end stuff and a lot of and I was broke into the kind of rarer stuff too so 
Um, this is the Horizon model uh, Jurassic Park T-Rex. So I got into the um, kind of like the rarer stuff too. So I have collected all the Horizon models and got them all painted. Um, we've only painted one. Uh, me and my sister I only got my sister to paint one, and then now I got, I got the other ones painted by a local painter that paints miniature um, figures like um, Warhammer and stuff. But here, yeah, here's the uh, collect, uh, um, Horizon models T Rex, so looking really cool. Stan Winston model. So I got this, and now I've basically filled. Uh, the, the, the free cabinets of all sorts of goodies and I'm, I, I can't wait to show you guys what I've got today. Alright, without further ado, welcome to my prehistoric collection video. Let's go. Alright everyone, we're going to enter what I like to call the study, aka the dinosaur room. Okay, here we go. Coming inside here guys. Okay guys, there you have it, the dinosaur room. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with this glass cabinet here and work our way around anti-clockwise, uh, leaving the new stuff to last um, for the big finale. All right guys, so this this cabinet here, it's just full of walls. There's not uh, exclusively dinosaur stuff in this cabinet, but so I'll go through it quite quickly. We've got a bit of Star Wars, we've got a bit of other movie, uh, movie rememberabilia or collectibles. Uh, so let's just go in. So first off, I've got a Boba Fett helmet. Yep, I don't know why I got this. I just kind of had, I just saw it and I uh, I was like, oh, I need a Boba Fett helmet. <laughs> so the Boba Fett helmet sits on top here next to a whole bunch of Rubik's Cubes. All right, and now we'll go down the display cabinet. There we have a quick look at the Boba Fett helmet. And here are Rubik's Cubes. I um, I was unemployed <laughs> for a bit uh, last year. Um, and I was so bored that I learned how to do a Rubik's Cube. Um, but I got way too into it as you can see. I got all, I uh, got a two by two, three by three, and then I, I eventually I, and one of my proudest moments <laughs> was actually solved this by myself. But you know, you need it once once you learn how to do this this one, you can easily do this one over here. All right, now let's have a look in here. Open up this glass cabinet. Now this is a glass cabinet from IKEA. I've always wanted a glass cabinet like this. Right, let's get into it. Right, guys, in here we've got two um, models of Iron Man. Now, this one here is the one from Civil War, and this one's the one from Endgame. Now, I do like the Marvel movies, um, and Iron Man was, was always my favourite, so I got right into my like models making last year as well. Another reason, another time when I was unemployed and bored. So I got into making this. Okay, uh, second of all, you guys may remember this. This is the Cocos Lanica. Uh, this is the fossil I have found. So I found this one in New Zealand. Um, and it was one of, yeah, I was just one of the coolest things because I've always wanted to uh, find a fossil and I did find one. And uh, unfortunately it wasn't a dinosaur or anything. It was just a prehistoric coconut thing. Anyway, I got this uh, nice little case made and that stands uh, proudly right there. Another thing that happened in 2021 is my car. Guys, you might remember in some old videos, I had a blue car. <laughs> well, the blue car is no longer with us. Um, someone smashed into the back of it 
our traffic light and um, now I have a white Commodore wagon but um, I, yeah basically what happened is it got ridden off uh, my car and I never saw it again I thought I was gonna get it back but never saw it again so I got the little car to remember it by um, a lot of my work that I've done in the past as well for um, is with these guys this is a European wasp you guys might have it all if you from the UK and um, for Germany and even over Eastern Australia have have these wasps they're everywhere but we don't have them here in Western Australia yet so in the past I've been working with the Ag Department and trying to eradicate these guys from Western Australia that's what I used to do as a job before I'm doing now as a ranger all right so the next shelf down we have um, a few dinosaur fossil tooth replicas and one real one. So the real dinosaur fossil right here is the Spinosaurus tooth in this nice display case we got here. Um, so that's really cool to actually know that that was in a, the mouth of the Spinosaurus once upon a time. Not too much money though, Spinosaurus teeth, because there's just so many of them found in um, Africa. Here we have a Velociraptor claw replica. This is about how big they were. A real Velociraptor, that is. And it comes with the two of the um, kind of like toe bones, but I can't really, without stopping filming, I can't really work them out. Oh, here it is. There you go, so, kind of like that. So they're pretty cool. So, all right. Here we have a Acrocanthosaurus tooth. You can see that's quite thin, with a razor's edge, really cool. Uh, here we have a Tyrannosaurus tooth. Now, this is a really cheap one. I got this when I was in high school in 2007, this one. So as, as I was saying at the start of the video, I have been collecting all this stuff for a very long time. <laughs> this one is a uh, ch oh, I can never say this one's name very well, but the Carcharodontosaurus from um, Africa. So that's a tooth for him. That, that dinosaur. This is an Allosaurus tooth. This little kind of little one there. It's a lot, lot smaller than those two big ones. And this is another Spinosaurus replica tooth as well. There we go. Um, and here we have a little Tyrannosaurus um, uh, kind of like a fingernail, like one of the two fingers from Tyrannosaurus here. That, this one here. Now this one's probably my favorite like standalone tooth. That's why it's in a like, nice little case there. This is a uh, Black Hills Institute Tyrannosaurus tooth. And these replicas are really cool. You can see the detail on them. Look, you can even see like the, um, kind of like the cracks in the bone. It's a complete replica and it's just so nice, this one. And um, of course, you can't forget this huge big Stan um, replica tooth. You can get on the stand. I remember I did a video on that. And here we have two Armanites. One shaved, like kind of like sawn in half. So it's got the nice kind of like half half of one there. And then we got like another, just like a full one here. And then here we got like another, I found this at the little rock shop um, nearby. And it's nice, I don't know, it looks almost like a massive silverfish or something. <laughs> Uh, it's a nice little fossil you know, in a rock there. All right, moving on. Okay guys, next shelf down, we have a Rebor um, baby T-Rex there. And we have a chip from the Terminator. This is from Terminator 2. Replica, um, movie, rep, movie prop replica of the chip inside the Terminator's head. T800 and here we have the Jurassic Park 3 um, Velociraptor Resonating Chamber from Chronicle Collectibles rest in peace Chronicle Collectibles we'll be seeing a quite a few Chronicle Collectibles um, things in today's video um, if, if anything they've just gone up in price after the um, company's gone bankrupt from COVID anyway we've got the really nice Jurassic Park 3 base I really like it here it's really cool and here we have a um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> so that's actually a playable ocarina. 
I literally just put this in here yesterday for the video. I just think it looks so nice. I think it looks really cool. And I'm a big uh, Nintendo um, fan. Um, and I used to love Ocarina of Time when I was uh, um, growing up. And I just think that was really cool, collectible. So I have this in the cabinet. We'll be getting to a bit more dinosaur stuff very soon. One more going down below, one more shelf. So I have a couple lightsabers. So these two down here are, are Saber Forge. So this is a Saber Forge Acolyte thing. That you can, you can, I, I can change the lighting of it for these things. I can put the lights in it. Um, and I've got this one too. They're just like two lightsabers. You can put the... Um, I think I did, I did do a video on one of them a long time ago. But you can put uh, the staff in there or the tube and you can fight with these two. This one is my latest uh, kind of like impulse purchase, if you will. This is an Empire Strikes Back um, Graflex uh, from uh, Kai, 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 Kai Benf or something, Kai Benf Sabres. And uh, yeah, this is really cool. This does everything. This uh, got that smooth motion sound. Um, I like it because it's just like a movie replica as well. And um, it's the Skywalker lightsaber. It's pretty much in most of the movies, if not. No, well, it's in about seven of the movies, I think. So that's pretty cool, I thought. So I've got that. All right, guys, now it's all dinosaur slash prehistoric animal stuff now. So we've got that out of the way. Now I'll get into the first cabinet, which is the original cabinet I had back in my bedroom at my parents. Okay guys, let me just open up the glass doors and we'll have a look in here. Lot to get through in here. Let's have a look. Alrighty guys, so we're staying at the bottom of this cabinet, I think. So here we have some Jurassic Park cars. We've got the uh, Jeep Wrangler. This is all matchbox cars, I think. I just thought they were pretty cool. So we've got the um, Explorer there. We've got another Jeep Wrangler here. And then we've got that cool Mercedes one they have in Jurassic World. I really like this one. I always like the look of this in the movie, the Mercedes um, G-Wagon or whatever it's called. Big, big expensive thing. Behind there we have the green Papo Rex, which I was talking about in the very middle. It's probably the guy that started the whole collection back in 2006 for me. So it's really, really cool. Next we have the uh, little Papo Cogsubnathus, just sitting there. Um, and they're all standing underneath the huge, big Sideshow Collectibles T-Rex, which we've talked about in the past as well. He is just so awesome. He's pretty much the only huge thing in this, um, this cabinet. And the eyes just draw to him. He's just got such a really cool, really cool uh, paint scheme and he's really good really just cool stance and depending where you um, Stand you know, he, he just looks so different from where from all the angles So if you go towards the front of him, he looks different again below sideshow collectibles t-rex We've got two papo baby rexes here a brown version and the green version I reckon it looks really cool as they're looking up as at the big one so I put them there, and probably one of my favorite animals of all time. Um, I, I, I still actually haven't seen one in a zoo at all, but I love it on like planet Earth, is the um, snow leopard. I love the big, long tail they have for balance. And this is a Papo uh, model here, um, and I've put him underneath the big T-Rex as well, and he's always been there. I always, always just look, reckon it looks awesome. <laughs> With a little snow leopard behind, below. All right, going to the other end of this um, shelf, we've got uh, quite a few animals here. Some of them are from Schleich, some of them are from Papo, some of them are from Collect Day. So we got, we've got a koala and a wombat here, um, and a kangaroo. I've got them because, as you guys may remember, I was actually a zookeeper um, slash wildlife keeper for a long time, I was almost three years I was working at the wildlife park where I cared for all these animals, kangaroos, wombats and koalas. I just thought it was so cool, so um, such a cool part of my life. So I've kind of got these just to kind of, you know, to stand for that. Um, we've got a uh, nice uh, red deer here, a red deer, buck and doe. I just think deers are, I just, I just love 
what they look like, <laughs> uh, deer. So I got that long time ago. Um, we got a little kiwi from New Zealand. So another, another thing, I don't know if I've ever told you guys, but um, half my family is from New Zealand. And so I am a basically half kiwi. Um, so I, and, and I've seen these guys in the wild too, and it was just such an awesome experience. So I got that, got this model because of that too. And one of my favorite animals of all time, as I've probably told you in another video before, is the cassowary. I just find them so cool. Uh, they look, they look with this really nice striking color to them. And they're basically, I have to, when you look at them, you kind of look and you can't, you can't help but see a dinosaur when you see them in the zoo. And I just think that's so cool. You can see how evolution is, um, kind of how, how it's worked. And in behind them, because it's the only where it, the only place where it fits, is the Papo Brachiosaurus. I was so excited when they did the Brachiosaurus from Papo, and this guy, you know, you can't deny it. This Papo Brachiosaurus, I'm just going to get it out for a bit, is really cool. It's just got such a striking resemblance to a Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus, and I love the color scheme, and it's just a really cool model, and it's real you know, quite big too. So if you haven't got that guy, have you got, have you, if you haven't got a Papobrachiosaurus, I reckon I would definitely go and look into doing that if I was you. Okay, so now we're getting to the two Papo shelves. I won't spend too long on each figure, but we'll have a look, we'll have a look at most of them. So we will have, okay, so we've got an Allosaurus, uh, Carnotaurus, the brown Papo Rex, we've got a Cogs of Naphus back there. Um, we've got the Archaeopteryx. I'm trying my best to say that name. Acrocamphosaurus, Stegosaurus. Now this guy, this is the second one I got um, after the green Papo Rex. I love the Papo Spinosaurus. It's got a real nostalgic thing for me, I reckon. I, I It's um, such a cool model and you know, it's, it's really cool. I love what they did with the Papo Spinosaurus. We've got the Oviraptor, we've got the baby Triceratops and the Papo Triceratops here. Uh, Ankylosaurus, we've got the more realistic Spinosaurus from Papo, which is also a really cool figure, really big, uh, standing on all fours. Um, you can't really see his hands. Oh, let's see if we can see him through the, all the stuff. Very easy, he's sitting on his claws there. I can't remember, oh, is this the Gorgosaurus? Yeah, that's right, the Gorgosaurus from Papo. Here we have, what's this, the uh, Penaceratops, pretty sure. And there's just so many now, I'm losing track, but I'm pretty sure this is the Penaceratops from Papo. Where we have the Ferrazinosaurus, another really cool Papo um, uh, model. And it stands really tall and it just looks awesome. Uh, we have the running T-Rex from Papo. I did have the green one, but actually, I think I gave it away in a giveaway once in YouTube, so. I got this extra colored version here, so he's pretty cool. Uh, and here we have, uh, I, I tell you what, I can't remember what this is. Is it the Polar Campus? Someone let me know in the comments below, but it looks like it's some sort of ankylosaur. All right, going up, next Papo um, shelf. We're going from this side. Here we have the Dilophosaurus. Uh, the, oh my God, I can't remember how they say his name the Cyclopsosaurus or whatever it's called. I should know, but I don't. But you know, he's got that thing on the top of his head. Uh, someone let me know how to pronounce it properly. Uh, here we have the Styracosaurus from Papo, the Parasaurolophus, the Pachyrhinosaurus. We've got the, oh, I always like, I always look at this thing, it looks like Aladar from Dinosaur, D Disney Dinosaur. So we've got the Iguanodon, and here we have the, we have the Stiggy Moloch from Papo, the Dimetrodon. Here we have the Ceratosaurus, the Velociraptor, one of them, one of the colorations. Is this the Chiliosaurus or something? I can't remember. I think that's what he is. Another Velociraptor there. In the back we have the Patasaurus from Papo. We got the, uh, what's that guy again? Oh, the um, Suchomimus from Papo. Uh, the Pachycephalosaurus. I've always really had a big fondness for this one. It looks just so much like the uh, Lost World Pachycephalosaurus. 
Here we have the Velociraptor from um, the feathered Velociraptor from Popo, the, and the the um, oh, Quetzalcoatlus. There we go, the Quetzalcoatlus from Popo, which is another really cool figure they did. And we have the Tapajara at the end there. All right. Whew, I can't believe I remember all the names, but I wouldn't be a dinosaur fan if I forgot one, did I? So here we go. Okay, we've got one more. Okay guys, the top uh, shelf of this cabinet is a little bit strange, I have to say. It's got a little bit of everything here. We have a Schleich Carnotaurus there. I've always thought he was a really cool looking dude. Um, we've got the Schleich Stegosaurus in a really defensive pose. I really like that. I love this one here. This is the Kentrosaurus from Schleich. You don't really see many Kentrosaurus models. Uh, but I love Kentrosaurus as a dinosaur and he's in a really striking coloration and pose So I couldn't go past that one really really like that one here. We have a Schleich T-Rex in the back We have I can't remember if it's from collect day or not or Safari, but a feathered T-Rex I think it's from Safari and we got a Schleich the um, a Patasaurus at the back there and a uh, Safari Styracosaurus. I really like the Safari Styracosaurus because it's got nice like, little feathers on the back there. I thought it was really cool. Uh, and now we have these some Papo prehistoric animals here. Uh, looking really cool. We have two baby mammoths and the big mammoth there. I just thought, they, I've always loved this model. I've, I've always liked mammoth as an animal, prehistoric animal. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't go past this guy. And I've always loved the woolly rhino too. So here we have the Lou Rhino. Oh, I've just missed something as well. We have a great white shark because no, you can't, no one, no, you know, great white sharks are cool. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got two baby mammoths there, big mammoth from Papo, Lou Rhino. Guys, I've just figured it out. I've actually missed the Amargosaurus in there in the Papo section. Sorry. Also, I missed the Papo Pteranodon. He's just hiding up on this roof there. Oh, well, you can say that. All right, there you go. There is the first cabinet done. Okay, guys, now we're moving on to the first of the new stuff. We'll go up this cabinet first. We'll start him down there, down here. So we've got Papo and Kylosaurus here. This is the uh, bottom half of the Horizon Brachiosaurus, uh, Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus. Oh, that's one of my coolest things I've got. I love it so much. Uh, I've got this guy painted by the local artist that I have nearby, and he's done a really good job. Uh, we'll have a, just a, a full length look at him in just a moment. This is the very newest addiction, addition to the collection. We have a Nanmu Brachiosaurus in the Jurassic Park free coloration. Now, I, they do do a brown version and a kind of version that looks similar to this Dracosaurus here. It would have actually looked quite quite cool if I actually got um, a version in this color, which I might still do now talking about it because it, it looks like a baby one. But um, I really wanted a Brachiosaurus in this coloration, which they offered because it just looks so cool. It's got the nice stripes here with a nice red uh, crest. Uh, because I already, you know, I already got a Brachiosaurus from Papo, which we saw just then and a Brachiosaurus from, in this coloration. So I thought it'd be cool to have one in this coloration as well, the Jurassic Park 3 one. Whew, talking so fast. All right, here we have a, um, it is a Tyrannosaurus, but it's a 1950s style Tyrannosaurus from Reborn. Um, I thought they were doing those retro, I think they call them retrosaurs or something. Uh, I just thought that was so cool they were doing that um, and I couldn't, I had to go and get this like really old style looking T-Rex. I, I had to, I thought it was so cool. Okay, now we've done that shelf, we can go up, looking at the whole of the Horizon Brachiosaurus, standing very tall and awesome in this uh, bit, bit of the collection. I, um, I actually love the Brachiosaurus from Horizon there. I just think it's such a cool part of my collection. And, I, and what I've done here is I actually sawed this part of the, um, I saw this part of the shelf out so we can actually, I can even fit him in the uh, cabinet. And I think if you saw it before, he's got like, he's standing on like a, like a shelf. <laughs> so, cause it could, he couldn't actually fit unless I kind of propped him up a bit on his front legs. 
So that's pretty funny, I thought. Okay, so this is what was coming from, from this side here. Here we have the Ceratosaurus from Papo. It's always a really cool looking model that, ever since I got it. One of the very, it's very early on Rebor um, model. Here we have another Rebor, this is another one of those retro ones they did, which is the uh, kind of like a 1970s style, 1980s style T-Rex. Very, uh, this one reminds me of the T-Rex from Land Before Time. Um, and so really, and I actually remember growing up, you know, they actually had quite a lot of my, you know, books and TV shows had that um, kind of style T-Rex. And I just thought that was really cool that they um, did that one as well. Here we have another Ankylosaurus. This is from our uh, Nammu Studios. So Nammu Studios, I, I'll tell you what, we're so lucky to have them in our lives because they bring out some really cool stuff, I have to say, and affordable too. So I think we're pretty sure all the Nammu stuff has just been so good. Um, re the only one I didn't like is the, the walking T-Rex they did, but they've kind of already done another T-Rex, which we'll get to later. Um, anyway, so here we have the uh, Horizon Jurassic Park Stan Winston, another one of the Horizon uh, Four Horizon models. Um, got this one painted by the local artist as well. You know, can't go past this. This is Stan Winston's work for the first movie of Jurassic Park. It just looks so cool. You've got to have uh, this is like another integral part of the collection here. And just over here, we have the UT Tyrannus. This is the very first model Rebor actually did. So it's another really cool one of the collection. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he's a very cool model and he's just, I like him how he's just kind of like poking out behind the, t the Brachiosaurus's neck there. Okay, above that shelf, we've actually got a glass shelf now. Now here we have a Rebor Ancrocanthosaurus and he's got, a, like, I think he's got like a bit of a, uh, uh, hedrosaur, you know, part of its carcass. <laughs> Don't really know what kind of hadrosaur it is, but some sort of um, hadrosaur in his mouth. And here we have a nice little bit of a uh, diorama of King Kong here. So we have the two V-Rexes. One, this one's from Rebor, and the one behind is the one from Namu Studios. The Namu Studios is, in my opinion, better than the um, than the uh, Rebor one, you can see the Rebor one. He, he's actually gotten a bit better now. I, I, I fixed his um, his standing, but he actually couldn't stand very well. Uh, but another another really cool model from Rebor is this King Kong uh, model, which I've just called like King Gorilla, I think. But uh, you know, that's a you know I did a video on him, and he's just so cool. He's like pretty much King Kong, and I've, I think this is a this is like a branch from another Papo model. I've just got that near, nearby because he looks like he's pushing it over. So we have that there. So I really like these, this little diorama I've made there. King Kong versus the V-Rexes. Okay, now we come to the Velociraptor kind of themed shelf here. So standing tall and proud is the Horizon Jurassic Park Velociraptor. Now this one my sister painted. Um, after learning a little bit more, a little bit more, it it doesn't really look like the paint scheme of the first Jurassic Park, but you know, me and my sister had a good time painting it, and it's got one of those realistic glass eyes. It still looks really cool uh, standing there, and we made the base. If you remember, because I did I did do a video on this Velociraptor model, we did the base, and uh, it's standing on a rock. It just looks really cool. I'm really really pleased with this model how it turned out. Um. There next door we got the Velociraptor female from Jurassic Park 3. She's looking after her eggs. We've got a little baby Velociraptor down here and a level one coming out of the egg there. Next on this shelf we have uh, Papo, two Papo Velociraptors, one jumping and one um, just walking across there. Might just adjust his mouth so his mouth's open. Yeah. Um, here we have a little Dimorphodon, usually comes with a log, I think the log, I was using the log for that for one of the V-Rexes down below, um, but he's, he's just sitting on a replica uh, Deinonychus skull, which I've got there. So the Deinonychus skull, this is a replica Deinonychus skull here, looking really cool. In front of that we have a Rebor um, um, Uteraptor. 
Now, I've got to put, this is one, this is one of my biggest gripes of Reball, as you may have not heard from one of my previous videos, is that they've got a lot of standing issues. I think maybe it's because, I don't know, because it gets pretty hot here in summer, and I, I know this room gets quite hot as well, and in my previous house where I was living, so maybe the models will warp. They kind of warp or get weak, so they kind of tip over a little bit. So I've had to put like a little uh, plastic thing to keep him upright there. And this is pretty new too, guys. I got this replica Velociraptor um, claw from Jurassic Park. So this is a prop replica that Alan Grant carries around for the move, first movie. So I, I've always wanted one of these. It looks really cool. I have just that sitting down there. Okay, here we have a bit of a joint display here. We've got some W Dragon and some Namu Studios models, along with some Reboy as well. Okay, so coming down here, we have the uh, Namu Studios Baryonyx. He's just having a. He's we've got. They've done two. They've done a standing version two, but I don't have that one. We've just got this one chilling out there, sitting down. Uh, here we have the Namu Studios Allosaurus. And behind that we have the really cool W Dragon Spinosaurus. Um, this is before they were licensed, so this is their first Spinosaurus they did. Here we have an Amber Studios uh, Bull T-Rex in the green coloration of the male. That, uh, that's pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, really cool stance and really cool model. Come over this way, have a look this way. Here we are. Okay, and then I really like this one. This is actually, this is a classic. This is the W Dragon T-Rex, um, Jurassic Park T-Rex. They did, this is before they were licensed as well. Just looks, uh, just this really striking model and looks just like the one from Jurassic Park. Going up here, we have a Disney dinosaur style um, Carnotaurus. Now, I know a really underrated movie in my opinion. I love Disney Dinosaur. Um, and I really love this model from Reebok. Again, standing issues, so I've got some sort of um, dis display base from another model of mine. I can't remember where that one's from, uh, but he's, he's standing up now because that's helping him stand. <laughs> so that's that. We have a, now this is officially licensed W Dragon. This is officially licensed W Dragon Indominus Rex. Now I did have an Indominus Rex Namu, but I replaced it with this one. Now this this one's a really cool model. I really like that. Uh, this is kind of my little homage to Jurassic World because I do like I do like Jurassic World. Very good. I do like it. Uh, and here we have a Giganotosaurus from W Dragon as well. Now I really like this one because this is this is like the Giganotosaurus from Dino Crisis Two. And you know, I, I remember playing that as a kid, and I really liked that game. So I thought it was really cool because you, you can tell it's the Dino, Dino Crisis kind of um, inspired one because he's got one eye. So that's pretty cool. So there's the Giganotosaurus there. All right. Oh, and on top of this, my arm's getting a bit sore holding this camera up. Here we have an Amu Studios um, a Patasaurus on top there. He's too long to even go in uh, any part of the display cabinet, so he's standing on top quite tall and proud. Okay, so we're coming to the bottom shelf of the last cabinet now. Here we have, first off we'll have to talk about these guys. Um, if you're growing up in the 90s, you would have seen these dinosaur toys. These are Vista Plastics um, that they sold at the Natural History Museum of uh, London, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, these guys pretty much went worldwide, worldwide dinosaur toys. I remember having them um, on a TV show as a kid, um, play school, and I also had them at my local primary school. You know, the primary school I went to when I was in pre-primary, we had these guys, and I remember them. They were just so, such a big part of my childhood, but I never owned them. So I got these guys uh, about last year, and I got the T-Rex, the, the three that I remember most. I got the T-Rex, the Triceratops, and the Brachiosaurus. And they're quite expensive, they're collector's items now, so they're really cool, really cool 90s dinosaur toys. I think they come out of the 80s actually, but anyway. All right, uh, rest in peace. Here we got uh, <laughs> another Chronicle Collectibles piece. Uh, unfortunately, I never finished their Maquette line. They had the um, Parasaurolophus coming out too, which, I was thinking about getting, but unfortunately COVID killed Chronicle Collectibles. 
um, which is a big shame because they did bring out some really cool um, Jurassic Park models and the Lost World. But here we have the Pachycephalosaurus from the Lost World, another really cool um, piece uh, for the collection here. Really cool maquette. Uh, here we have, and at the end here we have the um, Rebor T-Rex. Probably, I think it was maybe the third or second model they brought out, and he was uh, hit a rock that he stood on, um, which wasn't very. I uh, was kind of unstable on that rock. So then they brought out like a display base um, Triceratops there. And they also have a little baby Triceratops, which yeah, it's quite a sad little scene I've set up here. T-Rex has killed the Triceratops, and the little baby's just watching as his mother is devoured by the big predator there. Okay, here we have another Chronicle, two Chronicle Collectibles pieces here, actually. We have the Chronicle Collectibles Consignathus, and the Chronicle Collectibles uh, Baby Raptor. So I really, I really love these two um, pieces here because they're such a big part of the movies, and you know another another kind of rememberable piece for Chronicle Collectibles. I actually bought this uh, this one from the man himself, Chronicle um, Jurassic Collectibles. He was selling that one; he didn't have room for it or something, so I bought this one from him. So this is actually his version. Um, here we have. Uh, uh, a Namu Studios Triceratops, a Namu Studios Sick Triceratops, and a Namu Studios Parasaurolophus in the background, which is quite new as well. I've only just got the Parasaurolophus. And I also only just got this uh, little um, Proceratops beside the, um, the baby hatching raptor from Jurassic Park. So I reckon, without doubt, one of the most impressive models from Chronicle Collectibles is this Stegosaurus maquette from The Lost World. He just stands so, he's so massive and so kind of just like really cool because you know a Stegosaurus by itself anyway is a really kind of majestic dinosaur to look at with all the uh, plates on its back and um, it's just the way it looks and the, you know the spikes on its tail. This model is just so cool and it really is one of the things you get drawn to right when you walk into this room. Um, you know, it's really cool. Here, um, here we have a, a PNSO Corifosaurus, really striking model which I got last year. Um, I had to get a Corifosaurus model because I didn't yet have one and of course it's got my name in the name of the dinosaur, so I had to had to give that one a go. I had to try and get that one. Uh, and here we have the standing up version from Nanmu, Matt Nanmu from um, the Triceratops. And that's a, I reckon I've never actually seen a better Jurassic Park Triceratops than this one. I love this model. It's just such a cool. It just looks exactly like a Jurassic Park Triceratops, and I thought it was really cool, really awesome. And then here we have a PNSO Taurosaurus. I saw that it came with a little baby one and um, just really striking. I really like a Taurosaurus. It's always Taurosaurus or Triceratops. And Taurosaurus is a really cool dinosaur because it just, the, it's, you know, it's very big and um, it's got a very striking um, plate um, frill around his back, uh, around his head. So I got this one from PS and PNSO very re uh, very recently, and I just thought that one looks really cool. Okay, coming up to the next shelf, here we have um, Iron Studios Raptor Trio. Now you can get some of these for the um, Iron Studios kitchen and uh, Raptors in the kitchen scene, uh, but I just bought them um, singly, like this one. So we got the one here poking his tongue out. We have this really cool striking raptor. He's just before he uh, jumps on Alan Grant and the kids in Jurassic Park. And I really like this one that just looking over his shoulder there. You know, because you see this one, it, it, it's just a really nice pose. So I've got that raptor trio from um, Iron Studios here. I've always really enjoyed this little trio. Um, it's another really cool part of the collection here. Now, the Horizon model here I have to say is probably the most, uh, uh, probably the most beautiful painted one I've got out of the four Horizon models. 
he just did such a good job at this, and it just looks. So, I don't. I don't think I've actually seen a better uh, Horizon Dilophosaurus than this one. It is literally painted so well, and so I gave him. All, I gave him all the like the um, different f uh, photos of what I wanted to look at, look like, and he just did it so well. You know, he's got all the patterns where they're supposed to be down the down the neck and everything. It's just so awesome. He went absolutely so good. He did so good at this model, and I, it's one of my favourite things of my collection. Is this the Lophosaurus model? It's just so. It, it just looks so cool. With the frill. Everything's painted so well. I love it. Um, and I, I also made the display base for this one too. So I like that one. There we go. So the, Dil the Dilophosaurus from Horizon. Um, it's just one of the it's one of the coolest things I got here. And here we have another PNSO Styracosaurus here, another PNSO model. I love Styracosaurus, one of my favourite dinosaurs, and I saw this guy come out not very recently and I couldn't help but get him. So he's there. And above them, I got I recently got this shelf because I couldn't help but get the Namu Mosasaurus. And he's he's not very tall, but he is long, so I managed to fill in a bit more space and get him um, get his own little shelf. And now there's a little bit more. If I get anything else small, I can fit it there as well. So that's quite good. So I, I am a big fan of not wasting any space with these cabinets. And this Mosasaurus is very cool. So there we have it guys, there is the collection video. Finally filmed it, I'm very happy. I had a lot of fun doing it as well. My arms are a bit sore from holding the camera up when the tripod got a bit short for the, for the taller shelves. And I think my brain's a bit tired and talking so fast too. But anyway, we did it. And it's been a long time coming and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, if you think there's anything else I need, let me know because there is some more room. I can, I can still fit more in these. So if you think of any really good ones I'm missing, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, there we go, guys. I'm looking forward to doing a few more videos in the near future. I've got a few ideas swimming around up there. So I'm going to be doing them hopefully not too long from now. I'm hopefully going to get a little bit better at uh, doing some videos and not leave it for about a year before I do another one. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, enjoy, I hope you enjoyed the video. If, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Catch you later.